Good morning and welcome back to another video. Um, I'm gonna like try and take you around um, in a day for me, um, just let you know what I get up to. Um, I'm gonna start off with going to one of my local boot sales. So this is very much getting to the end of the season now, so I wasn't even sure if this was gonna be on. Um, it's a little bit rainy. I'm not expecting too many people to be at this one. But um, as I say, yeah, I'm gonna like, try and like, kind of, um, vlog as much as I can, just let you know what I get up to. So I'm a full-time eBay reseller. Um, I specialize in men's clothing. So hopefully you're gonna find this a little bit interesting. Um, so yeah, like, let's uh, get on with it. Right, this is very much the reality of uh, end of the season now. Um, it looks, just walking in, it looks pretty terrible, I have to say. So it potentially looks like there is only, I think, barely two lines. So no, I'm not convinced we're gonna find really anything here today, but we'll still look. I think I'm going to give, like, give that one up as a, a bad lot today. Um, so absolutely nothing. I literally was there for a few minutes, but uh, not really worth my time staying. So I'm going to like get on with some more jobs. So as I said, that really is the um, the reality of car boot sales. You can't unfortunately rely on them. Um, so now we're coming to like kind of the end of the season. Um, you need to like kind of be thinking about other ways of getting stock. Um, so that's definitely what I what's been playing on my mind for a while. Um, I still need to like get my um, my quota. But uh, so now, like, I need to like have a rethink. Uh, it's now mm, quarter to eight in the morning, um, so I need to like have a look to see what I'm going to do next. Um, I will probably go back home and do my shipping, get that out of the way, um, and then I think I will like then head out again um, to like hit some charity shops. So as I say, like, kind of follow me. Um, I the, the reality of being a full-time seller um, sometimes is not particularly easy. So yeah, let's carry on. Right, just on the way home now. So I have just passed um, one of my favorites, which is Lidl. I'm gonna pop in, see if I can grab myself like something to eat for breakfast, maybe a croissant or something like that. But also, I'm gonna see if I can pick up any of the boxes as well. So I use the um, Lidl's Tortilla boxes for my storage system. Um, I'll quickly show you like um, what ones, um, but I'll also like kind of uh, see if they've got any. All right, so just going in now. Uh, I think right in front of us is the bakery. So I might get them. Do I need a, no, I don't need a basket. Oh, the one thing I would say about these is that they are very good when you go to the bakery. Always look nice. Right, so let's get. Right, let's get this. I think just go for a couple of croissants. And I might get a couple for my wife as well. So four croissants. Right now, we need to see if we can find these tortilla boxes. Ah, here we go. 
Right, so these are the boxes that I will use. And sometimes uh, they're fine if I just take a few of them out. So I might actually ask. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Is it all right if I take one of the boxes? Is that all right? Thank you. So it's always a good idea just to double check. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these ones out, put them onto the top there. Get that. And I've got a box. Perfect for storage. I can pay these ones now. So easy as that. Um, eight, these boxes like are really good. So I'm obviously a um, clothing seller, so these are absolutely perfect. Um, if you see my storage setup, uh, this is exactly what I use. I do like the whole uh, low cost, no cost. Right, just have breakfast so now i need to get these all put in the car um so this is all um stock that was photographed yesterday so i photographed 60 sets um so 60 pieces of clothing yesterday um these now need to like go into like the garage for storage um yeah then i'm gonna like get all my labels printed off and go and uh, pick up the parcels Right, all um, put in the car now, so ready to go. So I just need to do my parcels. So I need to print off the labels. Right, so I've got 22 orders going out um, today. So let's get those printed off. So first and foremost, I'm gonna actually do the labels and then I'm gonna like pick the items up from the garage. <laughs> Right, so I'm back at the garage now, so I'm gonna like pick and pack my orders. I'm gonna put this on a, um, a speed up again, just um, because it's not, it's not a picking and packing video. This is actually a day in the life video.
before to actually show you one um, sale. So this is a pair of like Bell staff um, jeans, 15449. So I picked these up a couple of days ago. Um, and yeah, really, really strong brand. That's the logo you're looking for. So Bell staff, really, really like good sale. This one, I think 50 pounds. Um, only picked them up a couple of days as well. Quick spruce up of the garage. Need to like get rid of some of these leaves. Lovely job. Right, just heading to the charity shops now, but uh, as I was passing, I thought, might as well pop into another Lidl. So this is my normal one. Um, this is in Seven Oaks. Hopefully this should be an in and out job. See if we've got any of the tortillas. That is another two boxes secured. Right, off to do a bit of charity shopping now. I'm gonna go into the first one um, is that actually had the event. So I only bought a couple of bits just because they was like pretty darn expensive. Um, so I'm gonna have another look to see if they've actually reduced the other prices, see if I can pick some more bits up. All right, looking through some stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's actually been reduced. Osprey. 750, this little bit threadbare. Diesel, 20 pound. New jeans. Mm, this might be interesting. Ariat jeans, new tags. Women's 36 long. It actually doesn't have a price on it, we might ask about those ones. This is a silly price. Scotch and soda, 15. Jack Jones, £12.50. Yeah. Fifteen. 
I'm on a oh, I think I'm going to pick these up. These are a pair of Rohan um, warm bags. 750. A bit small, but. Right, I think I'm going to get a quick coffee. This is a really nice place it's called Buntastic. It's in Seven Oaks. Right, so I'm now just um, watching Tech on his live call. So he's actually um, in New York at the moment and he's answering questions. So if you do like ever have the opportunity, um, definitely like and like send him a message um, on his live because like he will absolutely like answer it. And um, so I just like asked him a question um, and uh, yeah, instantly like kind of, uh, Gave me like a really like good uh, answer for me. Simon Marketeer, that's Simon. I want to give a shout out to Simon. My man Simon this week had his first 1K sales day, 1,000 pounds on the sales day for Simon. So shout out to Simon. Um, Simon says, you always win at whatever you do. I am trying to win as well, but struggle to win at looking after myself. Is this just down to effort or schedule? I think it's down to both. Um, and you know, Simon, you, you see the morning calls every single day on the morning call, I'm doing the, the morning call from the treadmill. So I, I get about 15 miles a day on the treadmill and then whatever an additional I do after that is extra. So I like to get between, you know, somewhere around 20 miles all said and done. That's the, the ultimate goal, but it takes a good three, three and a half hours just to get the 15 miles on the treadmill. And if I had to do a dedicated three and a half, four hours on the treadmill only, I wouldn't be able to fit it in because there's not enough time in the day. So that's why I do the call on the treadmill every single day. And then after I'm done over the call on the treadmill, I, I start some edit work, some computer work. So I do all of my computer work and I do the call from the treadmill every day because I gotta, I gotta, you know, double up and multitask because if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be able to get the miles in that I want. So. It is about uh, schedule and it also is about effort because a lot of times, you know, I, I wish just to do the live call from the bed or from, from a recliner slouched down, but I, I don't do the live call from a recliner. I do the live call from the treadmill. I'm up getting it in, getting after it, and that takes effort. Um, Sal says, you, you say you work every day for three. Right, it's now 7.45. Um, I'm starting to flag now. Um, I've got one last job to do for today, which is like, just to process my returns. Um, I've got four returns to, to, to deal with, so they need to be like refunded, so I'm gonna get that done. Um, I obviously put out a video today as well, um, so I had to like film that and edit that um, and get that all out as well. So hence, yeah, nearly eight o'clock, I reckon just after eight o'clock, um, I will be done. So I'm gonna call it there for the video. Thank you very much for sticking with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it's been another full-on day today, um, and uh, yeah, until the next one, have a great day.